I can remember a time when I prayed all night long. And when you pray all night long, you have those spiritual feelings come through you. And I went to a restaurant with a friend of mine, and I walked out of that restaurant, and I was seeing beauty everywhere. And I said, look at that over there. Isn't that beautiful? And my friend just looked at me and said, do you realize that's a dumpster? And I said, well, maybe it is, but look at how it's designed and all that. Well, my friend just laughed. The eye of the beholder is the way you live your life. It's either a hell or a heaven. And when you are prayed up, you will see beauty that you were blind to before. It will be everywhere. It will be in the ordinary things. And the ordinary things can bring you the greatest blessings of all. Now, you've heard it said that in the eye of the beholder is beauty. And so today and every day, I ask you to make a conscious effort to behold the beauty, to see the beauty, to pause and take extra time until you can perceive it. And when you do so, when you're looking at something and you don't see anything special, stop and pray. And then look again. And if you don't see anything at that point, pray again and look again. And do it as many times as you need to until the cataracts of the eyes are lifted and you see something special that you were blind to before. You see, first of all, the beauty in all people, all people, everywhere. Every person of every nation is a child of God. Every person is here by divine appointment. You see the beauty in all people, all friends, all relatives, and even complete strangers. They are all works of the divine creator. They all have special talents beyond which we can even see in the beginning. All tributes to God's grandeur and reflect the beauty of God in their own unique way. And also, and this is a biggie, you look at yourself in the mirror and you behold the beauty. This requires often spirituality to do this, often looking beyond the appearance, beyond the appearance that you conceive yourself to be. See yourself anew. As a child of God, see the beauty when you look into the mirror. See the uniqueness, the magnificence the God-centered being looking back at you. The wonderful planet that we live in, it has so much of the evidence of God and the people that we are with, that God created, are here as special spiritual refreshments to our soul, if we allow it to be. And it will become something, as we're prayed up, that is very pleasing to the eyes. Your heart will leap in faith, and you will feel a special overwhelming love as you revel in being a part, a beautiful part, of God's beautiful world. I pray that you have the eye of the beholder that is beholding the beauty of God.